As you can see here, I ran a split between forest steppe and semi-desert. The Zagros Mountains along the, the western side and the Elbers Mountains along the Caspian Sea enclose the Iranian Plateau. Natural hazards such as periodic droughts, floods, dust storms, and sandstorms don't allow prosperous things to happen. The forest step allows for more homes like to ours to come up along the northern and western part. The semi-desert and desert lowlands have different types of houses. Domestic animals in Iran include sheep, goats, cattle, horses, water buffalo, domestic donkeys, and camels. The pheasant, partridge, stork, eagles, and falcon are also native to Iran. In Iran, in the summer, the temperatures vary greatly across the country. In the southern region, where the deserts are, the temperatures get uninhabitable and extremely hot. In the mountainous regions, they vary, um, but especially in the plateau, the temperatures are more mild. Though more mild means only a mere 110 degrees or 100 degrees, it still makes a huge difference. Um, so in this plateau region is where the most action occurs in the summer because that's the most, the most habitable region. And the fighting between Iraq and Iran occurs in this region right here. And though that mainly occurs in the winter because of the temperature, it will be... Um, it's easy enough to fight in the summer compared to other parts of the country, like here. One third of Iran is able to be cultivated. This allows agriculture to be one of the country's most lucrative industries. Almost all of the farmland in Iran is located on the Iranian plateau. As you can see, 25% of Iran's GDP um, is controlled by Tehran and 15% by the province of Khuzestan. These are both located on the Iranian plateau and are the most cultivated provinces in Iran. They are also the main source of agriculture. The Iranian plateau is also the source of many other types of goods, including mined ore and, above all, oil and natural gas. The majority of the oil located in Iran can be found on the Iranian plateau. Because of the fact that Iran has the second largest amount of natural gas in the entire world, most of its GDP depends on it. Nearly all of the goods produced in Iran are located on the Iranian peninsula. Iran's flat landscape makes it optimal for the transport of heroin and other opiates from Afghanistan. The opiates come in and then make the journey all the way across Iran through the plateau and up towards Europe. Iran has one of the highest opiate addiction rates in the world and is a key transport passage for the big heroin distributors in the world. Iranian culture is mainly a result of its geography. Tehran, the center of both agriculture and industry, is the most prosperous region. Standing in Tehran, one may feel as if they are in a very stable and wealthy country. However, in the regions where farming is much more difficult, like the desert in the east, people tend to be much poorer. These people also spend much more time working in the fields with little result. The lifestyle in Iran is completely dependent on its geography.